This is the story of a land, of the people who lived on it, and what took place is part of the history of Arizona. Arizona is America's western soundstage with all the iconic locations from Monument Valley in the north down to the grasslands in southern Arizona. We've had more westerns filmed here since 1930 than probably any other state in the country. The Rosemont Valley area in southern Arizona has a legacy of western film production. Uh, John Wayne actually bought a home in, in Arizona because he was filming so many westerns here. Oklahoma filmed in that area uh, in the 1950s. Oh, what a beautiful day. Highway 83, which leads uh, south out of Tucson, goes through the Rosemont Valley, Empire Valley. Um, on the west side, uh, there's the Santa Ritas, and on the east side, there are the Whetstone Mountains, and in between is this incredible valley. And I've, I've worked on a number of commercials and films in that area. I've been part of a company that has built sets in Rosemont, exactly where they're proposing uh, the big hole there. Filming in Arizona has, has brought hundreds of millions of dollars over the year to this area in terms of jobs for people behind the camera, jobs for talent and extras in front of the camera, location fees, hotel room nights. There's so much pride in this community over our film legacy. It's, I can't even put it into words. Uh, there's at least three generations of crew persons who have worked behind the camera. I mean, everything was exciting as a kid, you know. And you'd see these guys get thrown off their horses and the fences would break and you'd wonder, oh my God, and as soon as the word cut happened, then everybody would get up, the guys would go, repair the fences again and start all over again. I mean, it was great. We provided them acreage without any obstruction as far as views go, no power lines, no anything. We provided cattle, we provided sheep, they used some of our horses, sometimes they'd use some of our cowboys, and the house. One of the more interesting uh, films I worked on was actually a series of five films called Desperado for NBC back in the early 90s. And a lot of the work and a lot of the filming was done in the Rosemont Valley. Now these were television movies, but they were $4 million movies. So that was $20 million spent over a, a four or five year period uh, here in Southern Arizona, uh, which greatly impacted um, our economy. The Tucson Film Office is part of, the, of Tucson's Tourism Bureau. And tourism in Southern Arizona is a $2 billion, has a $2 billion economic impact. Film adds to the lure uh, to, that brings visitors here. People from around the world see what it's like here and they have a vision from the movies, from the television shows, of, and they want to come and experience that. Producers are looking for some of the great vistas that are available down there. Anything that interferes with the vistas in terms of noise pollution, light pollution, actual pollution and dust blowing, um, traffic on the highway, and in the case of, uh, of a Rosemont mine, you're talking about 300 uh, truck trips a day from Highway 10 all the way up uh, 15, 20 miles up on 83. And, and that would be logistically a nightmare and also pose um, a real threat to the, even the ability to film in that area anymore. I've been in an, a number of open pit copper mines, uh, some of them right down here by Green Valley south of Tucson. Um, and yes, some of the mines have been used in a couple movies. However, they're usually for apocalyptic type movies, and we don't need any more apocalypse in southern Arizona. You know, they're not through filming the Great American Western. These 
types of movies are going to be made for a long, long time. And Southern Arizona is one of the finest places to film. Filmmakers are going to be looking for the type of environment we have in Southern Arizona to film Westerns and Native American films in the future. So let's not spoil it. <laughs>